volume, pump up the volume, pump up the volume, dance. Hello everyone, this is Vectors. I'm doing a technique tutorial. This isn't anything big like how to make your own like, character for Minecraft. This is just basically repeating uh, basically the zombie. Because uh, I'm doing this mod and this is for my coder actually. So right now I want you guys to get Techni, the actual program. Link will be in the description. And Notepad++. And I learned that from another guy. And Link to his forum how he helps you how to code with Minecraft will be in the description also because he did a lot of help so basically what you want to do is from here I sent the texture to my coder and for some I'm not gonna be able to find this it sucks but say yeah right, here we go you're gonna want to find the skin that you want for it I mean, if you haven't got to make it, then, like, you didn't get to make it yet, then, I guess you could leave it like this, but, it's still, I don't know if it's going to load it, I can't find the file, for some reason it's not giving me the option, here, I'll do this manually, J something 94, I remember, yeah, right, right here. No, I didn't want to view it. I think I could do that. I don't know, but I did something like this before. And I got the whole thing set up. I already have the file set up, so I don't want to redo it again. Because it might say replace it or something. So, this is... He said he had trouble making the arms on this go up. He coded it and everything. So, you can see from this rotation, it's pretty simple. Like how to do it. And you just align it. Like a mummy, like, like a mummy would have its arms up, I'd say. Like a stereotype. For like any other zombie. So, there we go. I think I know where to... Crap, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Yes, and I'm also going to try to figure out how cool... I mean, Notepad++ is going to work. I don't... Oh, yeah, copy it. I have to copy it. That's right. I don't know. I did something like that a while ago. And I kind of forget. But it's it's pretty simple if you do it any other way. So that's that's basically what uh I mean it's gonna come up on the starting screen. You put model biped. Alright, it's gonna say just new model, it's not gonna show anything. You could do a cow model, I think, you could do a creep model. But this is just the average like you could do a human out of this. Just like a Steve human. If you wanted that in a mod. So that's how simple it is. So I'm gonna go ahead. Let me just see what file. Oh, wait, wrong one. Alright, it's in my downloads, so there's my mummy techni whatever thing. Let's see if I can figure this out. Alright, here we go. So now I'm gonna wanna open it. Edit with notepad plus plus. Alright. And uh, crap. For some reason the code is a little funky. <laughs> Alright. Well <coughs> I know I can I can't go back and do that. But basically and this is for my coder too, I'm gonna say straight out. This is you just copy and paste this right into Eclipse. But this isn't right. This is all screwed up. I must have did something or I should've redid it. But what I'll do is I'll remake it again. And I'll send it to you. Or no, use the same file, I mean. I sent him. And what you want to do is, when you save, when you save it when you're done on Techni, what you want to do is, you want to find that file on Downloads. Open it with Notepad++. It'll give you a whole script of code. It'll de like, just give you the code. I mean, you just copy it. 
and you put it into a new tab in Eclipse, and I guess that's what puts like the arms up and stuff like that, like certain specific things about it. So I'm guessing that's it. I mean, I still have some time left. Let me show a tutorial on GIMP. All right, this is another program. It's a paint one. I just want to show a bunch of people about this. And don't tell me I just went to Skype. Yep, I did. You decide nothing. Our right, GIMP. <laughs> Best painting program for Minecraft. All right. If you use Microsoft Paint, you're gonna get nowhere fast. You gotta use this. And at first, you're gonna pull your hair out because everything is all technical. Take some time to load. Enjoy that Raptor jet. Yeah, it does take some time, so. Ah, crap. So this is going to come up, and make sure you download GIMP if you're interested in, you know, just doing things like this. I mean, it's a really simple texture. Like, I made a few textures that are pretty good for me to say. I thought texturing was, oh, you got to make everything specific. How am I going to do that? It's fairly simple. So what I want to do is, it didn't ask me for a new one, so I'll just do new. Minecraft, everything's 16 by 16, usually. And it's on pixels already. Create it. I'm going to have to zoom in, so. Go to toolbox, new tool box. Get that all set up. Get the magnifying glass. Zoom into what you would like, uh, and I did it a little too much. All right, so you would press CTRL with the magnifying glass out. You should, it should do something. Oh, tell me I screwed up. Oh my god! There we go. Because it'll say it'll show the minus right above the actual magnifying glass. All right, so now we're getting somewhere. I want to show you how to do transparencies real quickly and don't tell me oh my god okay switch that so oh yeah I gotta change this it's gonna come up like this and you're gonna get really angry because you think it's gonna be impossible to make the texture here's what you do to change the the hardness of this go to windows dialog boxes I'm pretty sure dial yeah two options so as you can see you go here and then this takes a little bit of time. It's at 20, the size. So you want to just go down. And it will stop at 1 eventually. And 1 is the lowest you could go. And that's like, I'll show you what a 1 is. So we're at 1. Just X that out. As you can see, it lowered it to 1. And that's what it looks like. If you want to delete something quick, CTRL, Control, Z. And it just instantly does it. And, oh, Say you want to erase that. See how it fades? It? So it does take some time. And it's a little bit laggy. And if there's a little bit, like you, like you can still see the fadedness of it, then it will show up as a black box on your texture, and that is really bad. So I'm gonna be making. Oh yeah, let me show you transparencies actually. So you go to layer. And this is if you want to make a sword or anything that has oh, like nothing behind it. So you go to transparency, and this took me a while to figure out, so this will help you out a lot. Add alpha channel. And then you go back to it, layer, transparency, and you go to the rest hole, the rest, I can't say that, alpha. And it'll come up with this, go all the way, so you can see the preview of it. And if you do anything before it, say you already made your texture, like, oh, I gotta add it. This will go over it. So you, you have to do this first. And then, because I remember I made the sword for our mod, and it did that to me. Say, this is your sword, blah, blah, blah. And there you go. It'll have that transparency background. Alright, well, I don't need a transparency, so. Um. I'm gonna do, and this is a block for one of our, for our mod, I mean. It's called the Crack Sandstone. 
So wait. Let's see if I could get a good color here. There we go. I found it. Found it. Found it. That's perfect right there. All right. If it doesn't screw me up here and lag or then lag a little bit. So I'm just gonna make that, and that seems a little bit sloppy. I'll fix that later on. So let's say that's our background, right? And it looks pretty bad for Minecraft. Like Minecraft sand looks like it has all these particles in it. Well, everything's gonna look like this at first. You need to actually get a different color, like this. This is a good tan. I like this. And you want to get the brush. And this is my favorite part about this. You can make anything look like professional, like from Minecraft, with this. I mean, it doesn't. It looks pretty bad at first, right? But yeah, that's because I had a dark color at first. But it mix. It mixes it. And when you mix it. It looks like it has its own like professional texture. And let me do a little bit brighter one since we need that. Alright. I'll just mix it in. So that looks like an old I, I we're gonna use that actually, I'm thinking. And if we need to reamp it later on, then we will reamp it. So that would be cracked sandstone. That's what we're gonna make our pyramids out of, because it's gonna generate pyramids in Minecraft. If interested, I'll post the forum on the description too. And then, I mean, we're going to use this for all the sides of the block, probably. Next, we have to do a hieroglyphics block. And let me just, I'm done showing you guys. <coughs> let me just show you some of the other projects I did. Like, I simply, oop, and I didn't save that, so I'm an idiot. So, <laughs> I'll get back to that another time. Here's a, the, oh. Nah, I'm just wasting time. Here's the ruby ore. And it looks pretty okay, I'd say. And open. Here's a snake staff up close. This is another good one, I think. And I keep doing that. Because you don't see how fast you're actually going down the screen. Yeah, this is going to be something you find in the pyramids. It's it's just simple. It's simple to do. That's what I like about this mod. Or not mod. What am I saying? This uh, program. Let me show you the updated Kopesh. And there's two of them. And yeah, this is the updated one. This is a hook sword. It's like half sword, half... Oh my god. It's half sword, half... Um... Axe. I mean, I made it in literally 10 minutes. But it looks really good because of this program. And it was easy to do transparencies. Uh, MC or MS paint, you can't. Let me just show you one more thing. Let me show you the ruby item. That'll be it. I'm going to end this tutorial. What I did was, I, yeah, I mean, it looks like a diamond. I What I did was, I looked at the like a diamond close-up, and I counted the pixels, and I just added them in. But, that's what you can make, things like that. I just got a paintbrush, I mix in a light color like the diamond has, and as it went down more towards the bottom right, I made it darker. And it looks really good. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I will do more later on. Have any questions, just comment. If you like the video, subscribe. I mean, this isn't a big channel, so this is just a really a video to help the coder out or anyone else that needs the help. So I will see you soon. Bye.